back again. Uh, in my last video we talked about uh, winter driving conditions and what the effects of uh, winter weather would have on a hydrogen generator. Um, this video uh, I wanted to ask for everyone's help on this. What I'm trying to do is find a perfect perfect winter electrolyte solution that will not freeze in the harsh weather. I've been using denature alcohol in my system so far and what it does is you put the denatured alcohol in and that's how I want to I want to run a test today. You put the denatured alcohol in the mix and it it lowers the amperage dr dramatically. So it's proving to not to be a very good uh, mix uh, for the electrolyte and I was wondering if anybody out there has any good ideas or anything that they're using uh, to mix w with their water and KOH to keep the water from freezing so I just wanted to do a little little test today to show everyone what happens when you add uh, denatured alcohol to your uh, electrolyte mix I've uh, measured out two cups of denatured alcohol and I've got two liters of water in here. Um, I know that with two cups of uh, denatured alcohol um, it reduces the uh, freezing temperature down to about three or four degrees. Um, I've, I've done some tests um, with this uh, putting it in my freezer and and uh, measuring the uh, temperature when it starts to uh, uh, starts to freeze up, starts to slush up. So uh, I've got my denatured alcohol here. I'm going to pour it in and and show you uh, what happens to the amps uh, when I do that. Okay. So right now. It's pretty steady at about 13 and a half amps. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. And we'll watch the amps. In the beginning, the amps um, are rising, um, but I'm going to go ahead and run this for a while and show you what happens after a while with the amperage. And also, what I'm noticing in the Dodge Neon is that um, the water is, is turning uh, brown faster uh, with, the, with the denatured alcohol in it. And um, I wasn't having any problems at all with with the water uh, changing colors or uh, leaching. So I'm pretty sure that it's it's a denatured alcohol because it wasn't doing this before. So I'm gonna let this run a while and then uh, I'll come back and we'll take a look at the amps. Now the amps are starting to fall now. It's actually only been about five minutes. We'll let it run for another 15 minutes and I'll, we'll take a look at the amps. Okay, it's been about 20-25 minutes now. As you can see, the current continues to drop. Um, one thing to note, um, I am using a fully charged deep cycle battery. I've got my power supply which runs at 10 amps. And I have a secondary battery here, so I'm not losing any voltage here. Voltage is constant. Uh, amps are dropping. Uh, again, if anyone has any ideas 
I'd like to hear from anyone that's uh, used used a product or anything that they found that works works good to keep the water from from freezing. And uh, I'm not really worried about uh, the water while I'm driving my car because I know it won't freeze. But what I'm worried about is when the car is parked outside all night long in freezing temperatures. Uh, we're gonna, there's going to be some problems with that. A couple of things I have used. Uh, I tried uh, this windshield washer fluid. Um, bad news doesn't work. Just gums up the system. Uh, and also this uh, this is an RV RV antifreeze. Um, same thing. It uh, amps drop gums up the system. Um, bad news on that too. So um, so in the Dodge Neon. I've uh, run with this uh, denatured alcohol for a week now and my amps are down to about 3 amps when uh, they were at about, about 16, 17 running cold. So any, uh, any ideas, uh, please post your comments. Um, I'd like to hear from anyone. Again, uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. 